Aloha. How's everybody? Wow, this is really, technology is crazy. Well, my name is Malcolm Alexander. They probably told you already, but I'm, I'm here today to speak to you about an incredible opportunity that changed my life. And I know it's a little strange because I'm on the screen and you're sitting there, but I'm going to try to keep this interactive and, 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 and make you a part of this. And please work with me and participate. And, and that way I'm, I'm, I'm sure that we can get through this in an exciting, fun manner because that's what we sell with our company. We sell recess. I know you've probably been to presentations. You're going to think you've heard, hear some things today that are just like you've heard in the past, but I promise you, if your mind works a whole lot better when it's like a parachute. If you would just relax, and some of y'all get that on the way home, but if you would just relax and stay with me and pay attention, you're going to realize that the person that invited you out here today is doing you a favor. It's not about you doing them a favor. They're doing you a favor because this is absolutely different than you've ever heard in the past. I hope you've had some fun and I hope you've turned off your cell phones and your pagers and if you got to go to the bathroom, you know, please go now because if not, the host is going to ask you to squeeze and hold it while I'm speaking. I know you can stop the, the video, but you know what? We don't want to do that because we don't want anybody to get interrupted and break their train of thought or miss one word with a stop and a start that could absolutely change their life. And it changed my life. And just to, as I said, a little Dun & Bradstreet on me, I, I grew up in the Washington, D.C. area. My parents told me to go to school, get good grades, and get a good job of benefits. Probably you've heard that before, too. And I did that. I went to school. I got good grades. I get a good job with benefits when I was in college. But as I came out of college, I realized that people that were wealthy, people that had money, people that did what they wanted, had time, they didn't have good jobs. They owned the job. They owned the business. And so I began to focus on that. My grandmother was a millionaire, didn't know she was a millionaire. But you know what? She told me if I wanted to have money and live the lifestyle that she did, if I wanted to help people and travel, then I was going to have to do what she was doing. And thank God for grandma. I did what she did and not what my parents did. And I started my own companies. And that's all I've really ever known after I got out of college. You know, and when I was probably been in business for five or six years, I, I worked hard. I couldn't eat sometimes. I remember my mother said, boy, when are you going to get a job? And I said, mom, you've been working a job for 30 years, and I don't think the job is the answer. And so I was a struggling entrepreneur. I actually made a whole lot of money at one point, and I lost it all. Or I made more than I spent. Some of you can relate to that. And one day I woke up and realized I owned the job. I owned the job. And I got a phone call from a broke college student. He said, Mr. Alexander, I know you've been successful in the music and in the entertainment industry and some of your other businesses. But it'd be okay if I showed you how to make an extra hundred thousand dollars a year. Now I don't know about you, but you know some of you have probably been invited here four or five or six times. Probably some of you are looking at this for the seventh or eighth time. You know, but the problem was that I am I had a million a billion dollar mentor, and he told me that you know everyone has the same amount of time, but always have an open mind. And so that's what I did. I said if I give this kid fifteen minutes, I might make six figures. If I don't give him six, fifteen minutes, I'll never make six figures whatever he had to share with me. So I gave him 15 minutes. Now, it took him four hours. <laughs> I'm not going to keep you four hours. The reason it took him so long was because he didn't follow the script. He didn't follow the system that his mentors were trying to teach him. He, and he came and he sat down with me and he, he should have had somebody else talk, just like I'm talking to you now. That's why I'm in the person's home over this telecom, or over this technology thing. But he tried to explain it all to me. And it took me four hours to figure out what he was talking about. But you know what? I got started with that opportunity, my first time ever in home-based business. I, I jumped in. I was excited. I didn't stop my entertainment stuff. I kept doing what I was doing, but I put, put this thing on the, on, on the forefront. I went to work, and 11 months later, I was making $33,000 per month extra money. This was on top of my other ventures, my other things. And I was excited. I thought I had arrived. I was like, man, this is incredible. But you know, it all fell apart because I didn't follow the system, because he didn't expose me the correct way. And I don't want that to happen to you today. That's why I'm working hard to make sure that you have all the information throughout through the system. And see, what happened was it fell apart for me because he didn't follow the system and I didn't follow the system because I duplicated what he did. You see? And so Next thing I know, I left that company, but I was absolutely sold on home-based businesses. I knew that they worked. I knew that if you worked them, they would work. And so I set out to find one that really made sense. And, you know, I was upset. The company changed things so many times. Any of you got a job out there? Man, I'm sorry to hear that. 
Hopefully after this presentation, we can fix and change that problem. But you know what? I set out to find one that made sense. And I got a phone call a few years back and the guy told me I could own a home-based travel business. I mean, welcome folks, look at this picture, isn't it beautiful? I could own a home-based travel business. And I said, you know what, own a home-based travel business, I'm not interested in owning a home-based travel business. I've already tried this type of stuff before. But he caught my attention when he said I could save on my taxes. See, I don't know about you, but it's not how much money you make, it's how much you keep. And I had learned that with mentors of mine. So my interest was piqued. Then he told me that I could actually save when I travel. I said, okay, I don't travel a lot. I'd only taken two vacations in 17 years. But he said, but you can save if you choose to do it. And I said, well, maybe if I can save, I can afford to travel more. And so I was, I was sold. I said, here's my credit card. I'm in. But I'm not interested in that other stuff. You know? And he said, you can make a lot of money. I said, yeah, I've heard that all before. But after I got to know our founders, I made my money back in three days. I wasn't even trying. But after I got to know the founders, I got to understand what this company was really about. I took all the trainings right away. So make sure if you get started with us, you take the trainings because I wanted to know what I owned. Even though I wasn't interested in the other part, I wanted to know what I owned and I took all the trainings. But then I saw some friends of mine in the music business. They were in this business with me and they made a quarter of a million dollars <coughs> in eight months. Their first eight months. See, I don't know where you're going to be eight months from now, but hopefully you'll pay attention. When they did that, that was the day I said, okay, <laughs> Malcolm Alexander is going to humble myself, okay? I am not that busy. And they said, Malcolm, you're being selfish. You're using this for your tax savings, for your travel benefit. But don't your friends want tax savings? Don't your friends want travel benefit? Just like yours do. And so I said, you're right. And I began to share this with people. Within four years, this company paid me over a million dollars. Yes, a million dollars. And this was part time. I didn't stop the other things I was doing. As a matter of fact, we got two hits on the Billboard charts in the last couple of years. We got a Grammy. We got a BET award. We did all of that because I took the money and the time freedom I got from this and I dumped it into that. And you can do the same thing for your vision, your vehicles. This can be the vehicle to your dreams, wherever you want to go. And I hope that you'll understand that. I didn't stop doing what I was doing. As a matter of fact, after being in this business for four years, the company gave me this ring. And this ring represents something. And I'm going to share with you later what it represents. A lot of people think I play football. Look, I don't play football. I'm not trying to get all banged up. But you're going to find out what this ring represents when I go through this presentation. So just remember the Super Bowl ruby ring. That's what we're going to talk about. That's enough on me. I know you're not here to find out about me. You're here to find out about how this can benefit you and your life. We have two unique opportunities with our company and they're very powerful and they're very unique both of them are different one is a referring travel agent or what we call an RTA and the other one is a representative it's sort of our business side of our company not only do we have two opportunities we actually have two products and I want you to stay with me on that so here's the thing if you had all the time and all the money you needed what would you do what would you do travel absolutely we asked 100 people that question. You know 99 out of 100 say travel? I only met one person that said I wouldn't travel. I said, what would you do? He said, I'd go visit my grandmother in Florida. <laughs> okay, I was standing in Maryland when he said it. All right? See, I learned a long time ago, don't argue with people like that. That's right, folks. Everyone uses travel as an incentive. I'm sure someone's tried to pitch you before on long distance and legal service and video phones and coffee and lotions and potions and long distance and lose weight and all. Uh, there's nothing wrong with all that stuff. But isn't it interesting how all of those companies and even corporate America says, if you do well with us, we'll give you some travel? That's our product. That's their incentive. Big difference. So here's the thing. That's our first opportunity, all about travel. Remember I told you we have two products? We do, so stay with me. Now here's the thing, how big is travel? Because a lot of people think they're in the greatest industry in the world, real estate, insurance, okay, fantastic. Do you know that the oil and gas industry, look at that, the oil and gas industry is 330 billion with a B. Computers, Bill Gates, Right, You're, You might be watching me on a computer right now. Bill Gates is in a $280 billion industry. 
Anybody out there drive? Do any of you drive a car? Any of you drive? Of course you do, right? Everyone knows what an automobile is, right? But guess what? The automobile industry, 500 billion. That's right. And wellness. People try to get you to lose weight. And somebody approached me the other day and gave me some candy, talking about I was going to lose weight or get energy if I ate the candy, right? The wellness industry, Paul Zane Pilzer, says it's the next trillion dollars. Great. Fantastic. Watch this. Wellness. 300 billion. 300 billion. I come from the music, entertainment industry, Hollywood, 10 billion. Watch this, folks. Travel, 8.1 trillion. You could take all of those, put them together. You can add real estate, you can add insurance, and it won't even touch travel. You see that? If you jump into a $8.1 trillion swimming pool, you will drown into a million dollars just because you're in the pool. That's what we want you to do. You don't have to understand it. You don't have to be smart. Just jump in our pool. Okay, here we go. Do you remember when you used to go and watch television and you used to go off at night, right? And you used to see the little fuzz. I just dated myself, didn't I? Right. And the little plane used to be flying and and and, and, the, and the, the flag was blowing. Right. And then all of a sudden we had hundreds and hundreds of channels. And then it changed again. You, all of a sudden they said, you know what? Here's cable. Remember when cable first came out? You said, I'm not buying. OK, spend my money on some television. Television is free. You said, I'm never going to buy cable. If you don't pay for TV now, you don't have it. It's not free anymore. The industry didn't ask your permission, it changed. Well, guess what? Remember going to a travel agent? Do you remember that? So I was talking to a kid the other day, he said, travel agent, what's that? Because he's only 19 years old, he don't know what a travel agent is. Over 240,000 travel agencies have gone out of business in the last couple years. So, how do you book your travel today? I bet I know. It's three o'clock in the morning. You're sitting at home, on the internet, on the computer, on your tablet, on your smartphone right? You're sitting at home in your underwear and you play around for three hours so you can save three cents. You know all the prices are about the same, just like all the prices at gas stations are about the same. The travel industry determines the price. But the money I'm going to talk about today, it's already built in the price they determine. So here's the thing. Now, some of you might not even be sitting home in your underwear. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. That's how you book your travel. But our company, it's called Your Travel Biz, YTB. Folks, we did not invent travel. We didn't invent the internet. We didn't invent internet travel. But travel has been around forever. Y'all remember the first cruise line? Noah was the captain. Y'all probably don't know what I, you have one over your head. Remember, two by two by two? Okay, forget it. Anyway, folks, here's the thing. But our company, YTB, is changing the face of travel. If all the prices were the same, I like this one. Who would you buy your travel from if everything was the same? Would you buy it from a, your mama or would you buy it from Expedia.com if it was the same? Yeah, your mama wins every single time. So here's the question. Would you buy it from a highly advertised website or would you buy it from yourself? You'd buy it from you if you owned it, wouldn't you? Of course you would. Now, where would your friends buy from? <laughs> They'll buy it from you too if it was the same. See, I'm not trying to say we're different, we're better, we're cheaper. No, it's all the same. And some of you say, well, my friends might not buy from me. Well, if they don't buy it from you and it's the same, then you need to find some more friends. When Christmas time comes, ask Santa for some more friends. You see, here's the thing. Folks, we're not asking them to change their habits. We're not asking your friends to do something different. They do the same. Now, I'm getting to something. How does this work for you? Well, we want you to become a referring travel agent. Remember that? RTA? And what happens when you become a referring travel agent? So here's the thing. When you become a referring travel agent, RTA, with our company, YTB, you will get paid on your own travel. Your own travel. So if you go to a hotel, rent a car, get a cruise. Matter of fact, if you go to an amusement park, you're going to get a check. Look at this. You get paid on other people's travel. Right? Remember, it's the same? Other people. Most people don't travel by themselves. So you'll get paid on other people's travel. Right? On top of that, you'll get to travel as an agent. No longer traveling the way everybody else does. No longer paying the same price. We're going to talk about that. 
you get the tax benefits of a home-based business. Now you're saying, why would I want the home-based business tax benefits? Because if you own a home-based business, the last five presidents have said that the American public needs to own a home-based business. Why? It's the number one tax break. The average person in America, the government says, increases their tax refund by about $5,000. Folks, $5,000, do you know that's $96 per week? If you're sitting in the audience, the person that invited you out here today asked you to come here. If you do not own a home-based business, you are flushing $96 of your hard-earned money down the toilet every single week. Now, if you own this, the government doesn't even say you have to be successful. They say you just got to try. Folks, you can write off your rent, your mortgage, your car note, your car insurance, your cell phone, a portion of all that type of stuff. And with our business, a home-based travel business, you can potentially write off 100% of your travel. You can't do that with any other home-based business, with any other business. You will probably double your tax write-off when you own a home-based travel business. And we got no inventory, no quotas. You can do this as fast and as slow as you want. And the great part about it is we're never going to make you put a cruise ship in your back pocket. You won't have to fill up the trunk of your car with a resort. Promise you. And there's no experience required. Can you push play? Can you start this so someone can watch it? Let me do the talking for you. You see this? Isn't this beautiful? Your own travel business, your travel business, and you own it. It's yours. Now, you say, well, why should someone go to my site? Why? Because they're supporting you. Now, we will pay them a little incentive. We will pay them a little 30% of the commission when they do it. Not 30% of the trip, but 30% of the commission. Just a few little pennies here and there. Just as an incentive, it's powered by world choice. It's a division of Travelocity. So you know the researchers are. You can't out-research the researchers. Travelocity wouldn't have went in business with us if we weren't credible. Folks, it's powered by them. And look at this. The same inventory available 24-7. You can be sleeping and someone can buy travel from you from China, from Australia. And you're getting a check. You say, how do I know I get a check? Because look at this. You earn 60 to 85% of the commissions that's paid to our company, YTB. We pay it back to you. Once a month, you'll get a check. Now you say, well, how much am I going to make if I go to Australia and Las Vegas and I go snorkeling down in Tahiti? How much did you make last time you did all that? <laughs> you didn't make anything. So now you're going to make 60 to 85% of the commissions that's built into the site if you're an RTA. But remember that other customer? If they don't purchase this, if they don't become a travel business owner, then they can still go through you on this beautiful site, right? And we will pay them 30% of the commissions. That's the first customer. Because you don't get all these benefits unless you own it. So let's talk more about the referring travel agent, the RTA, who actually owns their own travel business. It just makes sense. All the experts agree. Starting a home-based business is the smart decision. But if you're going to start a business today, you want to make sure it's fun, exciting, lucrative, and growing. A business that you can start part-time around your current situation at a low cost. Well, guess what? You found it. The industry is travel. Vacations, tours, cruises, adventure. The one product that everyone in the world wants. And it doesn't matter where people live, what language they speak, or what they do for a living. They all want to travel. And that's why travel is the largest industry in the world. It's a fact. The travel industry is an $8 trillion marketplace. It's true. Just yesterday, $18 billion was spent on travel. In the last hour, $750 million. Is it fun? Yes. Exciting? Yes. Lucrative? At $750 million an hour, what do you think? But let's face it, travel has changed. According to Forbes magazine, Internet travel sites have essentially erased the need for brick-and-mortar agencies. Well, think about it. When's the last time you were in a travel agency? If you're like most people, it's been forever because you, like almost everybody these days, books online. You do the work, but you don't make the commission. Well, that has changed. It's a fact. We can show you how to have your very own online travel site. A site where you, your friends, family, and coworkers can book their own travel and you make the commission. A site that is powered by World Choice Travel, a division of industry giant Travelocity. 
with access to all the greatest airlines, cruise ships, and tour operators at the same price or lower than any other travel site. And when you or your friends book, you get paid. How much? Just look at this example. Let's say your cousin and his wife books a seven-night ocean view cruise on a popular cruise line from your travel site. Remember, they did all the work, they did all the research, but you just made $281 in commission. And that can and does happen all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because the internet never sleeps. Think about it. Who do you know that's going to travel this year? Well, if your site had that exact same trip, the same room, the same cabin, the same ship, at the same price or better than one of those big travel companies, would they book from you? Absolutely. Why not? You see, this came from a simple idea. We said, what if, instead of spending millions of dollars on advertising, we let people like you get their own branded travel site and let you use social media to share it? Well, that's what we did. And it has revolutionized the industry and created a dynamic home-based business that you can start completely part-time and right now for less than you can imagine. And it's working. In fact, our company helped stay-at-home moms, busy white-collar executives, and part-time students sell over $2 billion in travel over the last 10 years. And that's just the beginning. Because we also have another business model. You see, we figure that if you think owning your own travel website makes sense, that you might want to share the concept with others as well. Do that, and we can show you how to potentially make a small fortune. So, take the next step. Watch the next video that will introduce you to our company and answer all of your questions and see where you fit into this exciting, fun, lucrative business. YTB, you have access to the world from your computer. You can see all those up there, the sandals, the Avis rental cars. It's not rent a wreck, it's Avis. Right? We talked about that earlier. It's not the sole plane, it's American Airlines, Delta Airlines. As a matter of fact, Delta and United, they pay us commissions too. Most travel agents don't make any money from airlines, but we do. Folks, we have benefits because we've been doing so well over the last 13 years. And you have access to all this right from your computer, where your customer can go right to your computer and have access. Now, as you as a referring travel agent, you have access to things that they don't. You can book them through Delta and United so you can get that commission. As a matter of fact, we have something that you can log into your back office because you own this, you have access, you go to your computer, you log in, and you can give them low rates on hotel rooms. And guess what? You still get a commission on it. So what does that mean if you go travel and you get the hotel? That's right, you get a commission and the low rate, but you can pass on certain low rates to your customers. Now, this is extra, okay? We have some pluses for you. Right? Because a lot of people think that travel is just flight, hotel, rental car. No. Concert tickets, football game tickets, show tickets, theater tickets, honeymoon registries, visas, passports, golf tee times, restaurants, going to the movies. Folks, you make 60 to 85% of the commission on all of these things that are purchased through your site. See this right here? This is called Zam Zoo. We have something that says, before you do it, Zam Zoo it. Right? You say, what does Zam Zoo stand for? What do you think it stands for? I have no idea. But what does Google or Yahoo mean? Yahoo just meant <laughs> you're excited, right? And what is a Google? It sounds like the baby's crying, right? But they're household names. Zamzoo doesn't mean anything. But what it does mean is that if you own our site, we give you this as a plus. It's an extra, no extra money for you. You own it, right? And when you and your friends and family and everybody you know goes to this site and they shop, it's the same Walmart, the same stores, the same Macy's. Everything is exactly the same over 500 of your favorite stores and more. That's our customer loyalty program, folks. We pay your customers that little percentage, that little bit of cash back. No, they're not gonna get rich. No, they're not gonna make a lot of money. But Expedia paid them nothing. Any of you guys out there, you know Expedia? You don't know Expedia. You've heard of Expedia because they spend $11 million a week in advertising. We take that $11 million and we pay the smart person who owns this for themselves. So. Look at that ship. Y'all ready to go? Y'all like the cruise? Man, I tell you. Suppose you pointed somebody to this ship, to this cruise. They went on your website and booked it. A couple takes this trip, right? And how much do you make? $202 commission. Suppose you had 10 people that took the trip. 10 couples. 2,000, right? 2,020 bucks. 
folks. Matter of fact, I'm going to train you. I want you to pretend that this is your site. It's got this cruise, and your friends want to go. Do me a favor. Work with me. Remember, participate. Put your finger up. Put your finger up, right? Make sure your finger's straight, right? When I say go, I want you to point at your site. Point them to the cruise. One, two, three, go. <laughs> you have been trained. You are now officially a referring travel agent. And you just made $202 when your friends booked that trip. That's, oh, that's beautiful. Look at this. Cancun, Mexico. Oh, my gosh. Y'all ready to go? I'm about ready to leave and go myself. Man, we had a great time when I was out there. But here's the thing. Uh, watch this. You send somebody to this trip, you made $288. Suppose you couldn't get off work. Doesn't make a difference. You sent them on this trip, you made $288. Right? Guess what? Ten people go, $2,880. You follow? You get where I'm going? You're pointing people to take the trips and vacation. You know, I've never met someone to say, you know what, look, Malcolm, I've tried that vacation thing, just not for me. No one ever runs down the street when you're offering them trips like this, right? Look at this. I don't play golf. I'm getting to learning, learning how to play golf, but here's the thing. I know that people play golf got a lot of money, and people go in foursomes and, and, and sixsomes and eightsomes. <laughs> I mean, people go in packs to play golf. This is, you know, this is where people, the golf was founded out here, right? St. Andrews. Look at that. Folks, here's the thing. If you sent a foursome to St. Andrews to play golf, you would make thousands of dollars. As a matter of fact, you could go free because you're the proud owner of this opportunity. Now, how do you share this business? How do you share it? Well, there's the traditional things that everyone does and, and with businesses, you know, the Tupperware parties, the Mary Kay, all that type of stuff. So we have what we call travel parties. Because remember, what was your favorite class in school? That's right, it was recess, right? Well, we have fun. So we share it through home parties we call travel parties, right? And that's fine, right? We even do it through the phone. If you've got a cell phone, you can do this business wherever you want to go. But technology is changing. Look how I'm talking to you today, right? You can tweet this to somebody on Twitter. You can post this on Facebook. You can send it through an email. We even have something called Deals and Steals. It's a newsletter we send out every single week on your beh behalf when you own this. And people can sign up for free on your website. And when they do that, we'll send them travel specials every single week. And they'll think you're doing a lot of work and it's coming from you. We even have something we just added called a VMS, Video Marketing System. We give it to you for free. It has two to four videos. You can just text or tweet or Facebook or anything out to people. Folks, that's how you share this incredible opportunity with your friends, your neighbors, people you run into. My four-year-old was at a, uh, at a game, basketball game. We couldn't find him. He, he know he was in the middle of the crowd with his business card because he owns he has a business card. And he was passing them out talking about get paid to shop and travel at four years old. Why can't you hand out somebody a business card at the grocery store? You can't go anywhere until you get to the cash register. You might as well give it to somebody in front of you and somebody behind you. Folks, that is our incredible business.